Thank you for choosing CalISO Corporation for your training needs. This short video clip is presented to introduce you to some basic information on the requirements of the Code of Federal Regulations, Food and Drug Administration 21 CFR 820, Quality System Regulation, Good Manufacturing Practices for the Medical Devices. Current Good Manufacturing Practice Requirements, also known as CGMP, are set forth in this regulation. The requirements are specifically intended to ensure that finished medical devices will be safe and effective and in compliance with the FDA requirements. 21 CFR 820 is the United States regulations equivalent to the European standard ISO 13485-2003 in that they are both written specifically to dictate or set forth the requirements by which a medical device is designed, developed, manufactured, and monitored. And by monitor, I mean how complaints are handled. The sections of 21 CFR 820 are as follows. Subpart A, General Provisions, which doesn't contain any requirements, but includes the scope, definitions, and a brief description of what a quality system is. Subpart B, quality system requirements, which includes management responsibility, such as the requirement for a documented quality management system and management review, quality audits, or the requirements for internal audits, and personnel requirements, which includes having competent employees and documenting their training needs. Subpart C, Design Control. Each manufacturer of any Class 2 or 3 device, and some Class 1 devices, must maintain procedures to control the design of the device. There are quite a few requirements in this section that must be complied with, tend to be exact, or the FDA could potentially write the business a warning letter or cause a plant shutdown. Subpart D contains the requirements for document control or how your documents are created, revised, and managed. Subpart E contains the requirements for purchasing controls, which includes supplier evaluation. Subpart F contains the requirements for identification and traceability. Identification and traceability for medical devices is critical to ensure a quick and effective recall if necessary. Subpart G production and process controls. This is also a quite detailed section and includes requirements for control of production and process changes, environmental control if the environment can adversely affect the product, personnel hygiene requirements, building suitability, and maintenance of machinery. Subpart G also contains requirements for inspection, measuring, and test equipment, also known as calibration, and process validation. Subpart H, acceptance activities which includes receiving, in process, and finished device acceptance, as well as identification of acceptance status. Subpart I contains the requirements for non-conforming product and how they are managed. Subpart J contains the requirements for corrective and preventive action. Subpart K, Labeling and Package Control. This section speaks directly to the requirements for not only device labeling, but also device package labeling. Subpart L contains the requirements for handling, storage, distribution, and installation as applicable. Subpart M contains the requirements for records, which includes the requirements for all quality records and their accessibility to regulatory personnel, device master records and device history records, as well as complaint files. Subpart N contains the requirements for servicing of a medical device if it's applicable. And lastly, Subpart O contains the requirements for statistical techniques for controlling and verifying the acceptability of process capability and product characteristics. We certainly hope you enjoy this online training experience. 
please proceed to the beginning of your CalISO course to receive a more in-depth training on this FDA regulation. If you should have any further questions or concerns, please see our Frequently Asked Questions page on our website.